Hello, and a warm welcome to all of our new and returning families for what will be another successful academic year at the British International School of Houston. The purpose of this video is to provide you with information around the safety measures as we start the school year. A key message is that we continue to follow the guidance from the CDC and Harris County Public Health, which have evolved from last year, and we will share with you how those changes have impacted us. At the start of the year, everybody, including our early years children, will be wearing a mask, regardless of your vaccination status. This is an important layer in our safety approach. Another way that you can help us to keep our community safe is to screen your children at home. We will no longer be screening children at drop-off. If your child is not feeling well, has any symptoms, please keep them at home. Seek medical advice and then they can return to campus when they're authorised to do so. This is such an important way in which everyone can do their part to continue to keep our community safe. If we have a positive case on campus, we will inform everybody. This will enable our parents to make informed decisions and decide what their next steps of action may be. There is an exception, according to the CDC, in school settings. Students, if they are indoors, the close contact definition excludes students who were within three to six feet of an infected student if both students were correctly and consistently wearing their fitted masks for the entire time. Please look at the parent handbook to see how this exclusion as defined by the CDC along with vaccination status impacts the quarantine measures. It's my pleasure to welcome early years and primary school parents to a new school year. And I'd also like to give a huge welcome to all of our secondary families to what is going to be a really exciting academic year. Each morning we ask that all parents screen their children before placing them on school transportation or before bringing them into school. If your child is unwell, please keep them at home. Children who have been unwell will need to be seen by a medical provider and we will require a note for your child to return back to school. Drop-off and pick-up arrangements are slightly different for our early years families. Parents should park in the early years parking area which is located opposite the early years learning centre. From there, walk your child into school via the theatre entrance Drop-off is between 8 and 8.30 each morning for early year students. In the afternoons, same thing, parents please park up in the early years parking area, come over into the school and at this point we'd like to invite you into your child's classroom to collect them. Pick-up is between 3 and 3.15. If your early years or primary school child is attending an after school activity which takes place between 3.30 and 4.30, we ask that you come into the school building to collect them. The children will be taken to the BOMA where you can meet them at 4.30 and we ask that you use the designated parent parking area and come in via the Silver Gym entrance. For drop off in the mornings, all secondary parents should use the green route. If you have a student driver in the family, please ensure that they're aware of the designated parking spot before they get to school. All secondary students should use the Silver Gym entrance for their arrival at school. Please follow the required routes for your child's age for drop-off and pick-up. You can find all of this information in the parent handbook. And if you are going to park up, please park only in the designated area. Cross via the orange barricade and enter the school through the entrance we have designated this year as our parent entrance. This is a different entrance for our existing families. 
So please make sure you look at the root as explained in the parent handbook. For those of you that know the campus, it's sometimes referred to as our bus entrance and it is the entrance by the Silver Gym area of the campus. Parents, once you are on campus, you are to wear a mask at all times. You would be welcome to access the coffee shop and the BOMA and we've also got some additional seating for you outside should you wish to take a coffee outside and be able to then remove your mask and enjoy drinking it. We will be asking parents to all leave the campus by 9.30 a.m. This is important because at that time our students then need to use those spaces. So thank you in advance for everybody in supporting us with doing this. At lunchtime, students in early years, year one and year two, will continue to eat lunch in their neighborhood. If your child would like to have a flick lunch, we'll bring them up to the canteen where they can choose their lunch and take it back to their neighborhood to eat. Students in years three to six will begin using the boomer again for lunch. We'll do this in two sittings, year three and four will go in first and they will be separated whilst they are in the boma and then after that years five and six will go in together too. For lunch times, secondary students will have full access to the boma. We do encourage that students eat outside where appropriate. They can also spend the rest of their lunch times using some quiet time in the Agora or utilise all of our outside spaces. In regard to airflow, we increased the airflow by 18% using our 28 rooftop units, which of two are dedicated to the BOMA. Fortunately, we have a fairly new building and we routinely maintain our HVAC system to our service provider. On days where students have PE lessons, all students from early years through to year 13 will come to school dressed in their PE uniform. They'll remain in their PE uniform for the remainder of the day. Our before school and after school care for early years to year six students, Bish Kids, will again be on offer. Please refer to our handbook for all of the details. We are thrilled to be reintroducing our after school club program. Our safety procedures are going to be the utmost importance and they mirror our schools. We're going to offer a variety of clubs, sports and activities for Bulldogs of all ages. We can't wait for everybody to be back. Can't wait to see you soon. Hello Bulldog Nation, we look forward to welcoming back all of our sports teams this year. I want to give you an update on our face mask policy for athletics. If you're a student athlete, we're asking that you wear your face mask for all practices and indoor sports. However, if you're a student athlete that is vaccinated, upon proof of vaccination, you'll be able to have the option of wearing your face mask. All documentation needs to be forwarded to our welfare office. We hope you found this information useful and we look forward to welcoming all of our students and our parents back to school.